Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back. If you're coming back, if you're new, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. This is a wealth building channel, so we do investments, careers, how to make more money, how to save money, where to put money, whatever we got to do. It involves a lot of money, careers, or something like that. So thank you for coming back today. It is an investment day. One of my investment videos. So I'm going off the screen. And we are going to talk about mutual fund picks as of August 2022. These are value-oriented funds that are having a moment, even overseas. The foreign stock funds are above water over the past 12 months. So let's talk about some of these. Let's look at some of these and where they are at. Let's try and get this all on one screen. There we go. So despite a sell-off in nearly every developed country stock market around the globe, it is 0.5 return over the past year beating the MSCI EAFE index, which dipped 11.1%. A focus on these dividends has helped and maintained a diversified portfolio. Some sectors have been weak in recent years. We've seen change in the mix of market leaders. And um, co-manager, the Ben Lofthouse, who runs the fund with Alex Crook and Job Curtis, they said materials, mining, oil, and gas companies performed well thanks to the rise in commodity prices. And many of these companies generate a lot of cash. They pay down debt. In some cases, they pay special dividends. So stock in French multinational energy companies like Total Energies, for instance, climbed 29% over the 12 months. And the firm recently hiked its dividend 5% raised its share purchase program to $3.0 billion to $2.0 billion as at, at the end of 2021. Meanwhile, some traditional defensive um, sectors shown up too, including healthcare. So let's look at these international and specialized funds and what they are doing right here. Okay, including healthcare, the shares in the U.S. drug maker Bristol Myers Squibs have rose 23% at the start of the year. And Merck is also up, of course, you know, with the COVID and all that makes sense. The managers look at dividend paying companies that generate cash. And these leaders are leaders in their industry. They have stocks and trade at sensible valuations. And although 12% of the fund's assets are invested in U.S. stocks, the portfolio holds mostly stocks in foreign developed countries. Its exposure to emerging market stocks are limited to South Korea, where 2% of the assets are invested, and Taiwan with 1.6%. That's partly because of the impact of the Ukraine invasion on the portfolio has been small. And over long stretches, the fund's long-term record doesn't disappoint. It has returned to 42 annualized over the last five years, ahead of the 3.1% return over its peers, and they and they invest in value price long, large foreign companies. So let's look at what drives the the funds, the mutual fund success. So most managers will use a um, most managers will use a algorithm to find solid stocks at bargain prices. So we want to stay the course. It can be difficult for investors when the stock market gets choppy and the drifts down. And uh, it has of late. You know, this is 2022 and we've had a lot of stuff going on since 2020, really. And the three managers at Hennessy Cornerstone Value, they say that they delivered an astonishing 14% 4 return. And that trounced the fund's benchmark. Let me pull these up for a second. Stay on target. So let's look at some of these ranked by a year's return. And just like I said, Hennessy is one of the top ones of 14%. And um, the Russell 1000 1, Value Index. Is that on here? No, that's not on here. That in nearly 14 percentage point and a top 98% of the fund's Peers. And these funds are focused on value price, large company stocks, cornerstone value success. 
which is also not on this picture, lies with a stock picking algorithm that has been placed in since the fund la launched almost 26 years ago. Fundamentally, it is a quantitative fund, and uh, we let the data drive the investment process. So the computer screen focuses on a large dividend-paying firms that trade at U.S. stock exchange, including foreign company shares, and they must be above average in terms of the market value and the number of shares outstanding and the cash flow. They must have a share price of $5 or higher and among among all the other criteria. they The process often spits out undervalued shares. Okay, so let's look at the top stock mutual funds as of August of 2022. So in the final step, we're, we're talking about how the algorithm to find the solid stocks at bargain prices. In the final step, these stocks are ranked by dividend yields. The 50 highest yielding stocks are purchased in equal proportions. A dividend is a huge signal for management. It says not only can this company pay a dividend now, but it can continue to pay a dividend because few companies are, are going to play fast and lose with their dividend. And we talked about the rabbit in the air a lot. Remember, that's exactly what this is. The ones who go too fast end up losing their dividends. So the whole screen is rerun and the fund is rebalanced on a reconstituted annually. And usually in the first three months of the year, after the funds, um, let's pull up the, the bonds. So after the funds rescreen in an early 2021, the manager snapped up shares in a lot of energy stocks, including Chevron, Exxon, Conoco, Phillips, and others. And just before the sector began to rebound, the energy stocks have been a big driver of the fund's recent success. Currently, the fund's top three holdings are General Mills, Marathon, Petroleum, and Intel, and other big well-known companies such as AT&T, Kraft Heinz, Coca-Cola, Bristol-Myers Squigg, round out the portfolio. The fund charges a 1.23 expense ratio. And um, most of this information is coming from um, MSCIEAFE track stocks in developed foreign markets and the source is Morningstar Direct. That's where most of this information is coming from in case you care. Um, it's not coming from me. I'm not making it up off the top of my head. So hopefully um, this was helpful to somebody. This is a short and sweet video. I'm not trying to make it super long because I know um, these are not my top videos. Most people I lose after the first three minutes. So if you stuck till the end, congratulations. I appreciate y'all. Thank you very much.